here's some help with your E&M worksheet. Starting with number one. The patient comes to the ER, or emergency room, for a sore throat. EPF history, detailed exam, moderate MDM code. Where do you start? First of all, breaking down these abbreviations, we know the patient comes into the emergency room for a sore throat, expanded problem-focused history, a detailed exam, and moderate medical decision-making. These abbreviations and understandings you can get from your textbook in this chapter. What I would do first is open up your CPT code book, your code book, and go to the back. Remember when we're looking for codes, we start at the back in the index, correct? So I would go to the E's for evaluation and management. So turn in your index in the back of your code book to evaluation and management, and then it says emergency room, or ER, that's what our note says there. So I'm looking actually at page 866 in your index. I went for the E's for evaluation and management. I scrolled down here, had to turn the page. I find emergency department 99281 to 99288. It gives me a range. So I'm going to hold my hand in that spot. And I'm going to go look at 99281. I simply just put one hand down in that spot in the index because if I forget halfway going through the codes to see which one I'm looking for, I can flip back and easily check. That's why I put my hand in there. It happens a lot that you get going and you forget what you were looking for. 99281. So flip back in your books to 99281. And it's at the very beginning in the E&M section. So 99281 is where these E&M codes for emergency rooms started. 99281 looks like I'm looking at page 22 in the 2017 CPT book, Emergency Department Services. The patient comes into the emergency room for a sore throat, expanded problem focus history, detailed exam, and moderate decision making. When I'm looking at my emergency department services or emergency room, emergency room is what the um, worksheet says, emergency department is what CPT goes by. It says new or established patient, and we had written an either there. So it doesn't matter, first of all, what type of patient we have. That's good. We don't need to worry about that. Where we go to next is this form right here on the right side of your screen. And this form came directly from the shared files in your class. Okay? Let me see if I can show that quick. If I go right into your course here, and I go, now my screen looks a little different because I'm the teacher, but if I go into shared files, there is this laminated E&M sheet, okay? And that's what this sheet is. We've got the worksheet and the laminated sheet both up together, okay? Use this laminated E&M sheet. If you can print it off, if you can laminate it, it would be amazing. Um, I have it laminated for my students in class. Um, I don't know how to get it to online students, uh, so I just give it to you in the shared files and kind of let you do what you want with it. Um, but we definitely use this form all the time when we're doing a homework. You can use this sheet when you're doing uh, your exams. I let them use it right when they're face-to-face -face in class as well. So with looking at number one, trying to figure out where to go from here, we go to emergency rooms. Okay, so this is office, just kind of how to read this sheet. These are tables. Office visits, new patient, must meet three of three. Here's the code options that we have. There's five of them, okay? Here's the level of history. Here's the level of exam. Here's the level of MDM and average time if we need it. Office visits, established patient, must meet two of three. Outpatient consultations, hospital care, emergency department services. So we want to look at this whole table right here when we're completing number one. 
So an expanded problem focused history. This is how I want you to use this sheet, okay? I'm going to use my highlighter. And on history, it said expanded problem focused. That would go all the way across, right? Okay, here's problem focused. Here's expanded problem focused underneath this column, 99282. So we meet this and exceed and we meet this. So essentially we would highlight or fill in, actually maybe I should do something like this. I'll fill in the whole column. Okay, that makes it a little easier. The examination it said was detailed. So I am going to highlight all the way over here on the examination column, all the way over to detailed and fill that in. Okay, moderate medical decision making. Moderate, if I'm looking at medical decision making here, is under here and here. What do you do? We, as coders, are coding to the highest specificity. So when we are looking here, we're going to fill in that whole area that moderate covers and shade it in. Okay? So right now for number one, I have all of these highlighted or filled in. We have an expanded problem-focused history. Actually, I did that with history, too. Expanded problem focus goes all the way across. That was my mistake there. We have a detailed examination. Goes to right there. And we have medical decision making that was moderate. And we go all the way across and we stop there. Now looking back up at this text here and this box, it says it must meet three of three. Well, which column do we meet all three requirements? We meet, yes, 99281 is completely filled in. But so is 99282, and so is 99283. 99284 meets two of three. We have two of three components that we've met, but we didn't meet three here, did we? Okay, and we didn't meet 99285 at all. So this is not our answer. This is not our answer. If we're coding to the highest specificity, 99283, the, the column, okay, or row all the way towards the right, okay? These are in hierarchy. 99281 is pretty basic. 99282 is a little more. 99283 is a little more than that. 99284 is a little bigger than that. 99285 is the biggest. Okay, now I could be saying that in complexity and work done. I could be saying that in dollar signs on how much each one of them costs. Okay, the more work you do, the more it's going to cost. If we're coding to the highest specificity, your answer for number one is 99283. If we have to meet three of three components, there's your answer right here to the highest specificity. Now, look in your code books at the same thing. A lot of people love this laminated E&M sheet, and I do too. It's kind of a cheat sheet. I could kind of get a lecture about making cheat sheets because if you do a cheat sheet, you have to update it every single year because the codes update every single year, right? But this is one sheet that is really, really helpful um, for me to teach you as a student. If you look at 99283 in your code books on page 22 and 23 in your actual CPT books, you can see we have underlined three key components. It requires three key components, okay? That's what we have on the cheat sheet. And then underneath in the bold bullets, you see underneath 99283, an expanded problem focus history. Yes, that's what we have. An expanded problem-focused examination, oh, we had detailed, didn't we? Which detailed is more than that. We kind of went over above on the exam part. But yes, we did meet expand, expanded problem-focused. And medical decision-making of moderate complexity, yes, that's what we had. So we didn't have exactly what number one said, did we? 
That detailed exam is more than what we needed. But it wasn't enough. If we look at the code next higher up, 99284, in your code books, if I'm looking, a detailed history, oh, no, we didn't. We were less than that, right? We didn't meet that. A detailed exam, yeah, we met there. And moderate decision-making, yeah, we met there. But we didn't meet that top bullet. We were under. Okay? So 99283 is your code to get here. We met at history. We met and actually exceeded at exam. But it wasn't enough, right? And we met at moderate complexity. I hope this video helps you. Let me know if you need more. Thanks.